What's up, Lake Central? I'm Madison Sandoval. And I'm Olivia Lavoie. And boy, do we have a good show for you today. Let's go check it out. Hey, Olivia, what are you doing this weekend? This weekend, I'm planning on spending some time with my family. That's pretty cool. Let's check out how some other students spend their weekends. A normal weekend is like a normal weekend for me. A uh, normal weekend for me is typically on the weekends out. A normal weekend for me is a normal weekend for me is a normal weekend for me is for me a normal weekend consists of going to the gym, working, and hanging out with my friends. A normal weekend for me is playing Xbox or playing with my dog. A normal weekend for me is uh, working out, playing basketball, like practice for LC, and uh, hanging out with my friends. Uh, typically on the weekends I'll hang out with friends, um, go to the gym, and go to church every Sunday. Our normal weekend for me is going out with friends and like spending time with family. So a normal weekend I like to do is that I like to watching like any YouTube or draw pictures, listen to music, or watching animes pretty much all day. On the weekends I'm usually in Chicago with my Barbies, shopping and stuff, and just hanging out with my friends and stuff. A normal weekend for me is I see a movie on Saturday and then go home and just uh, listen to music a lot for the rest of the day, maybe play some too. A normal weekend for me is like hanging out with friends or like staying at home watching Netflix or something. Did you know one of our very own teachers here at Lake Central wrote and published one of her own books? <laughs> no way! Let's go check it out! I am Mrs. Thomas and I teach forensic science. My na the name of the book is The Blue Pencil. Um, it is a pay it forward story where a little boy finds out about a need that a little girl has and she is in a different country and he figures out a way to help her. And the um, idea is that this would be a series and so in the next book she is going to run into somebody that needs something and pass it forward to them and it'll keep going and it jumps through countries. Many years ago I had gone on a mission trip, actually several mission trips to Africa and when I came back I just realized how blessed we were, we have so much and how easy it is to make someone stay and I just had this idea of paying it forward. Um, I wasn't really thinking, I just had this idea. I just had this idea of, of this story that I felt like I was supposed to tell and so it took many years. I finally sat down and decided to put it on paper and then I really, I'm a science teacher so I didn't really have any idea of what I was doing so I started researching local um, writers clubs. There's actually writers clubs that get together and they uh, they'll read your, you read your story to them and they kind of tell you, okay, well this isn't good and this isn't good or this is great or, or they'll tell you if they like it. And so it took many, many months and many, many revisions um, before it was in a place where I felt that it was ready. Um, I have a website that they can find it on and it's also on Amazon. Um, just, the, I have this series, so this is a little boy from America that goes to Africa, that sends up to Africa, and then the, it's going to go from Africa to China, and then it'll go from China to another country, so there's going to be several books in this series, so other ideas in mind, so keep a look out for those too. A lot of our students have been getting active in our intramural clubs, and my team is D1 Bound. Let's take a closer look at what all the hype is about. Mr. Gernack, I'm the intramural coordinator here at Lake Central. Uh, really, it was a, it was the administration that wanted to get something going and, and um, you know give more opportunity to uh, more students to, to participate in sports and uh, compete a little bit. Um, so the administration really had a, had a big part of it, and um, that's kind of how we got it going. It went really well. We had only uh, one season of volleyball, uh, but we had 14 teams and. You know, we carried that over to this year. Uh, so our first intramural this year is volleyball. We have eight teams. In the future, the goal is to have three, but this year it's looking like we're only gonna have two. The, the next one is actually gonna be um, either three on three basketball or five on five basketball. Uh, and that'll happen in March. Um, and that one's gonna be, I'm not sure if it's gonna be co-ed or a guys in a girls division, but um, that's what we're looking at. I think we'll get a good turnout for, for basketball and that's gonna happen again in March. We caught up with some Lake Central bus drivers to see what they do in their free time. Let's check it out. My name is Dee Mellis and I'm Sandy Matura. I started, uh, it'll be, I started in 98, so January of 98. And I'm like going on 18 years. You know, I had a great bus driver for my kids. My kids all went to Lake Central 
And when my last one was probably third grade, I needed something to do to get out of the house. Um, me too. I really was just going to do it for a little while. I work in the summer. I work for Alverna Labs in the summer. And you enjoy your summers. No, I think. Mine isn't. I have, I have my kid, my route, I take my, from the same household, from kindergarten, middle school, and high school. So my kids I've had since they've been kindergartner, and now they've all graduated. So I've had them that long. So no, it's never been boring or old to me because it's like they're my own kids. I've had them for like 10 years. The first thing I had was the one time I was on, I got hit from behind the bus, and I was stopped on 231, and a lady, I had the stop arms out, the reds were going, the kid was going to get off the bus, and a lady ran right into the back of my bus, her whole front of her car went under the back of my bus, and it didn't even put a scratch on the bus. My weirdest time, and this is no lie, a hawk was flying over my bus and it had a mouse in its claws and it dropped its mouse right on my windshield <laughs> as I was driving. Oh, I think they think we don't know what we're doing half of the time, <laughs> but we do. And I tell them all the time, I'm like, yeah, you might think I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on. I raise kids. I know what's going on in the back. You know, we know. No, I just enjoy the kids. They're mostly good. I have to say for the most part, are. my whole route, all my kids have always been good. I've never had a problem. I hardly ever have to turn any kids. If they're, my kids are good. Let's catch up with some freshmen to see how this year's been treating them. I'm Michael Schultz. I'm not my freshman. Like, I didn't come from any of the middle schools around here. So, but then I'll, my family goes here. Like, I got uncles that go here. So I've been like talking to them and they said it's like decent. So my favorite part of high school. Um it's pretty basic, but I like my pool class, it's pretty fun. Like we call it Hugo's Pond, the time for it, because my old school I didn't like it. So I'm Seth Garcia. It was like everything I expected to be to be honest. Really? I don't know. Like if I had to say, I'd probably say like the interaction with other people, how it's such a big school, how there's so many people here. I love high school so far though. I just got I just finished the football season, now it's wrestling. I don't know. I'm just winging it right now to see how it goes. Well, if I could say for myself, it's not really that bad. It's easier than middle school and well, it's less stressful because you have less classes in a day. The size of it, it's huge. Not being a freshman. It's a pretty swell school.